Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video, let's talk about uh, some of the up upcoming smartphones that will be having the Snapdragon 865 SoC. And guys, if you know, now in 2020, if you want the best, uh, uh, what do you say, chip for an Android smartphone, it's the Snapdragon 865. And yes, we know some of the uh, phones with the Snapdragon 865 have already been launched in India. But there are a bunch of smartphones that were going to launch in India and they got slightly delayed due to this lockdown. And I feel once the lockdown is lifted, uh, hopefully uh, by the mid of March or later on these smartphones should be uh, coming to the Indian market very very soon because they were expected to uh, launch around the what do you say uh, end of uh, March or around the April time frame and first if you uh, guys look at this uh, we know this the one plus eight and the one plus eight pro these are launching in India and these will be launched via Amazon and I'm happy that uh, one plus gave special pricing for India if you compare it with the international pricing we were all expecting the pricing to be higher but again it's good so i, I feel the one plus eight pro uh, looks like a very good deal that's why i feel one plus eight is slightly gimped on that camera again i won't get into detail watch the video that i've already posted about one plus eight and the one plus eight pro these are definitely coming now the second uh, smartphone uh, again uh, that is going to be launching in india uh, was that uh, motorola's new uh, flagship phone that's known as the motorola edge plus in fact i've already made a video about this one and this one is also expected to launch after the lockdown is uh, li uh, lifted. And this would be a new flagship from Motorola. And uh, they're leading a flagship almost after four years now. So it'll be interesting to see how they do it. But I'm a little bit skeptical about this because in US, this is priced at almost $1,000. So unless Motorola India does something about the pricing, I don't know about uh, this one. And uh, next is from uh, Xiaomi. And Xiaomi will also be launching their, what do you say, flagship smartphone phone in india that is the mi 10 and this also comes with the snapdragon 865 soc as you can see from the screenshot and this also has the same punch hole uh, notch that's the trend that we are seeing these days we're having that most of them are having that punch hole notch and multiple cameras at the uh, back so mi 10 will also be coming and this will be also coming with the snapdragon 865 it'll be very interesting to see how xiaomi prices this one in india I feel they might price it because the specs uh, on this one are supposed to be actually pretty good. I feel this will be somewhere below the OnePlus 8 or around the OnePlus 8 uh, price point. But let's see uh, what Xiaomi does with the pricing in India. And next, this one is also going to launch. That's the Oppo Find X 2. If you remember the Oppo Find X original one, the entire module lifted up and down. But here it doesn't. Uh, here, as you can see, this is the screenshot. And uh, this also will come with IP68 rating, so dust and water resistant. And in fact, if you look at the uh, other specs, the, the this is regarding the screen and if you look at it these specs are very close to what we are seeing actually with the oneplus 8 pro screen so it looks like very similar to that again that 120 hertz uh, touch screen response uh, quad hd plus and 6.7 inch screen uh, so again as you know the oppo phones are camera centric phones so this is also going to be a camera centric smartphone if you look at uh, another image uh, from the back uh, you can see that again it has multiple cameras but also that periscope camera for that zoom it says that 20 to 25 x zoom you can get with that periscope camera so again this will be a camera centric smartphone and it's rumored that this will also come with 65 watt fast charging so these are some of the new phones that will be coming to india very soon after the lockdown is lifted apart from that we already had uh, the what do you say realme x50 pro that came with the snapdragon 865 and uh, we already have this iq uh, that is also uh, based on the snapdragon 865 I've heard rumors that uh, the pricing of the iQ might it might get some discount now so it'll be interesting to see once the lockdown is lifted what pricing will be get uh, will be getting so if that happens then that will make iQ the most affordable uh, what do you say uh, snapdragon 865 uh, based uh, smartphone and uh, there's one more phone that is rumored to come but that's not going to come out anytime soon uh, hopefully after about a couple of months three four months that's the asus rog phone uh, 3 uh, it's been rumored that that's in the work and obviously that will also come out with the snapdragon 865 but just not now in the later part of the uh, maybe after four five months we don't know but that is also going to come it'll be interesting to see how these vendors will price these smartphones in the market now because we saw that oneplus international pricing is 
is a lot higher compared to what they have done in the Indian market. So will other vendors also do that? That is the question. And if you think other vendors will reduce the pricing of their smartphones, for example, that's the Motorola Edge Plus, uh, the Xiaomi's Mi 10 or the Oppo Find X specifically for India, which one among these uh, three smartphones are you interested? I know many of you are actually interested in the OnePlus 8 uh, Pro, but let's say these other three smartphones are also priced very aggressively in India. Which ones would you select among these uh, three let me know i'll add a poll anyways guys uh, that's it for now again uh, don't forget to add your uh, suggestions uh, suggestions in the comment section below i'll read them anyways guys take care catch you later